Electrophoresis. Electrophoresis comes from this Greek word, meaning to bear electrons. Electrophoresis of positively charged particles, or cations, is sometimes called cataphoresis, while electrophoresis of negatively charged particles, or anions, is sometimes called anaphoresis. Applications Electrophoresis is used for separating macromolecules based on size and or charge, DNA and RNA analysis, and protein analysis. Applications for DNA Electrophoresis can be used to identify, quantify, and purify nucleic acid fragments. It sorts them based on size, which allows the fragments to be identified. The fragments can then also be separated. The quantity of each type of fragment can also be determined. Applications for RNA RNA analysis is mostly the same as DNA. However, RNA molecules are subject to extensive secondary structure via intramolecular base pairing, and this can affect their gel migration. For most applications, RNA is ran using denaturing conditions to disrupt secondary structure. For applications such as resolving different conformations of RNA, native or non-denaturing, gels are recommended. Applications for proteins. Gel electrophoresis can provide information about the molecular weights and charges of proteins, the subunit structures of proteins, and the purity of a particular protein preparation. Limitations. Electrophoresis has a limited sample analysis. Example, if looking at a cheek swab, you are only looking at the genes in your cheek cells and nowhere else. Measurements are not precise. Substantial starting sample is required. Only certain molecules can be visualized. And low throughput, or it produces data slowly. The cost. The thermoscientific B2BP EasyCast with buffer exchange ports is $883. 100 grams of agarose 1 molecular biology grade is $230. Additional costs for add-ons. The total cost is over $1,000. Overview. How electrophoresis works. Suspended particles, usually in a gel, have an electric surface charge. The gel used is usually either agarose or acry acrylamide. The molecules being examined can be either native or denatured. Native are in their normal, biologically active forms. Denatured have lost their specific folding pattern in biological activity. An external electric field exerts an electrostatic coulomb force. According to the double layer theory, all surface charges in the fluid are screened by a diffuse layer of ions. This electric field also exerts a force on the ions in the diffuse layer. This part of the force is called an electrophoretic retardation force. This is a diagram of the electrophoretic forces. When the electric field is applied and the charged particle is moving steadily through the fuse layer, the total resulting force is zero, as you can see by this equation. From the point of view of electrophoresis, the two most important physical properties of proteins are their electrophoretic mobilities and their isoelectric points. The electrophoretic mobility of a protein depends on its charge, size, and shape. 
whereas its isoelectric point depends only on its net overall charge. The rate of migration of a protein per unit of field strength is called its electrophoretic mobility. The units of electrophoretic mobility are those of velocity divided by the units of electric field. The particles are attracted to the pole of an opposite charge. The particles will begin moving towards that charge. The speed of the particle is inversely proportional to its size. The smaller the particle, the faster it is able to move through the gel. The process. Before the samples are added, the gel must be placed in a gel box. One end of the box is hooked to a positive electrode, while the other end is hooked to a negative electrode. This is a diagram of an electrophoresis gel box. The main body of the box, where the gel is placed, is filled with a salt-containing buffer solution that can conduct current. Samples are loaded into wells at one end of a gel, and an electric current is applied to pull them through the gel. If the fragments are negatively charged, they will move toward the positive electric. If the fragments are positively charged, they will move towards the negative electric. If the fragments have the same amount of charge per mass, small fragments move through the gel faster than large ones. When the gel is stained with a dye, the fragments can be seen as bands each representing a group of same size fragments. The bands are compared to the bands from a standard. When compared to the standard, the size of the unknown fragments can be determined. This is an example of the fragment bands. The research article I chose was Serum Protein Electrophoresis in Healthy and Injured Southern White Rhinoceros. Introduction The Southern White Rhinoceros is heavily poached in Southern Africa. With over 4,000 animals killed in South Africa between 2013 and the end of 2016. Serum Protein Electrophoresis, or SPE, is considered the reference standard for determination of albumin and globulin. Electrophoresis was used in this study to quantify albumin and globulin present in blood serum of rhinos. The purpose of this research was to determine the effects of poaching wounds in white rhinos that have not received any veterinary care for these wounds. Globulins consist of hundreds of different proteins, which migrate into defined fractions, conventionally grouped as alpha, beta, and gamma globulins. The alpha globulin group contains positive acute phase proteins. The beta globulins include transferrin, complement factors, lipoproteins, and some immunoglobulins. Variations in serum proteins with concentrations above 0.5 grams per liter may result in changes to the electrophoretic pattern and concentrations of the various fractions. A decrease in albumin and increase in the alpha-2 globulins, alpha-2 macroglobulin, and haptoglobulin occur typically in acute inflammation as part of the acute phase response, while an increase in immunoglobulins Beta 2 and gamma fractions occurs with chronic inflammation. Wounds are associated with a catabolic state, and protein demand can be increased by 250% in human wound patients as protein is needed in every phase of wound healing. Methods Electrophoresis was used to compare the serum protein of healthy white rhinos to the serum protein of injured white rhinos. 
Reference intervals were created using 50 healthy rhinos. Serum samples from 30 white rhinos with tissue trauma were also analyzed. The rhinos were immobilized and their blood was collected within 15 minutes. Blood was collected directly into a serum vacuum collection tube. Samples were placed upright to clot in a cooler bag with ice blocks and processed within three hours of collection. Before analysis, batches of samples were left to thaw at room temperature, mixed, and centrifuged for eight minutes. Reference intervals were generated for total serum protein, albumin, globulin fractions, and albumin to globulin ratios. Their results were compared to the results from 30 white rhinos with varying degrees of injury. Results. Injured rhinos had lower concentrations of total serum protein, albumin, total globulin, alpha, alpha 2, and beta 1 globulins. They also had higher concentrations of B, beta 2 and gamma globulins. The results seen in the rhinos are similar to the results seen in wounded humans. It is believed that the differences in serum protein concentrations and composition between healthy and injured white rhinos may be diagnostically and prognostically useful. Their results from this research may also be relevant in humans.